The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. A Mitt Romney advisor has spoken on the condition of anonymity, indicating that Mitt Romney really was, and this is a quote, shell-shocked after losing the presidential election that last week. It's funny because it really seems that in spite of all the public evidence, all you had to do was go to 538.com or princeton.election.edu and, and see the data that suggested it was, forget about a, a very real possibility that Mitt Romney might lose, but actually most likely that he would lose. The Romney campaign seemed to be actually living in this fantasy world of skewed right-wing polls and the idea that what Mitt Romney wants, Mitt Romney gets. Shell-shocked is the report from a Mitt Romney advisor about losing the election. You believe it? I don't know if it has to do with the polls and, and the media being skewed so much as it does what just being a person and what you put into a campaign. I mean, think about all the time, effort, money. Uh, I don't think I could keep up with a schedule like that, like like a presidential uh, candidate goes through. Just all the effort you put into it. I mean, when you lose and everything you just did for the past year or more just comes crashing down. I think yeah. anyone would be shell shocked. I, you may be right. You may be right. But it, it seems decidedly different than what we've experienced on the behalf of other presidential okay, candidates. Well, McCain was a, was a, uh, a, a POW who was tortured. So I think he could probably deal with this a little bit better than Mitt Romney. A little bit of the flavor here from, uh, from the behind the scenes. Romney, according to a CBS article, Romney was stoic as he talked to the president. His wife, Anne, cried. Running mate Paul Ryan seemed genuinely shocked. Ryan's wife, Jana, was also shaken and cried softly. The New York Times put out an article as well. It said, uh, Bob White, a close Romney friend and advisor, was prepared to tell the waiting crowd that Mitt Romney would not yet concede, but then Mitt Romney quietly decided it was over. It's not going to happen, he said. As Ann Romney cried softly, he headed down to deliver his speech, ending his second and presumably last bid for the White House. This isn't about psychoanalyzing, right? And this isn't, people get mad when we talk about someone's acting in a way that's indicative of psychopathy, etc. This isn't about that. This is about yet another indication that Mitt Romney really seemed to be disconnected from reality in every way, both because of his lifelong personal riches and disconnection from the average person, and in every indication here, Natan, that he just had no idea what was going on. Yeah, I just, I don't think that the subject here is Mitt Romney. It's just the general Republican, Fox News, and conservative American bubble, where they're just disconnected from reality. And whenever something comes up, any evidence comes up that contradicts that worldview, they just reject it as a bias uh, against them.